Hi, this is Icy. Uh, this is a network tutorial that will show you how to configure your network card and your computer to improve the reliability of your internet connection. This is especially useful for MMOs uh, where there's a lot of data being transferred to and from the server. Uh, I was getting a lot of disconnects um, previously in ESO uh, in combat situations where there were you know, like 80 players that could just kick me out and I couldn't play it. Uh, so I spent quite a lot of time uh, researching the best solution, uh, tried a lot of things, none of them worked, and eventually I stumbled across this as an idea, and it did. So, which is why I'm sharing it with you now, and I hope it will help you as well. So, the first thing we're going to do is turn off the large segment offload setting in your network card. Now, this is normally only on your wired card. It probably doesn't hurt to check your Wi-Fi as well, if that's your primary gaming connection. So what you want to do is open the computer management. Uh, there's multiple ways to get to your network card properties. This is the one I like. So if you're using Windows 10 or Windows 8.1, you want to be right-clicking on the Start button and then choosing Computer Management from the menu. Uh, if you're using Windows 7, you want to be right-clicking on the com My Computer icon and choosing Computer Management from there. So here's Computer Management. Go ahead and click any uh, security warnings that you might get. Uh, so then you want to go into your device manager and then find your network card and choose properties. You want to click the advanced tab and then you want to find the large send offload. Uh, so sometimes it's called the large segment offset, large send offload, there's a couple of different names, it's usually LSO. Uh, and you want to set it to disabled. Any of them, if you've got multiple versions like I do, set them all to disabled. And then hit OK. Uh, if you've got jumbo frames enabled, that should also be disabled as well. So once you've done that, you need to open a command prompt in administrative privilege. So uh, one way to do that is to make a shortcut on your desktop. So you just right click somewhere on your desktop, choose a uh, new, uh, new shortcut. And you just want to type in cmd.exe and hit next and finish. I've already got one as you can see, uh, so that's fine. So when you start it up you want to right click on it and choose run as administrator. Uh, without administrative privileges, the next step, uh, you're not going to save the settings basically. Now I'm going to open up one I prepared earlier. Okay. So the first command you want to type is netsh interface ipv4 show sub interfaces. So I'll just leave this here for a minute. Now I'll, uh, later I'll edit the uh, notes around the video to include these commands, uh, which should help as well. Once you hit enter, that'll list any network cards that you've got on your device. Uh, so as you can see here, I've got a Wi-Fi card, uh, we've got the loopback address, so you can ignore that. Uh, I've got the local internet area connection, you can ignore that as well, uh, and the Ethernet. On your computer, if you've got a plain local area connection without any stars or anything, and no Ethernet option, that's probably your wired card. That would be fine to, that would be the one you want to edit. Now these numbers are already edited, your numbers are likely to be much higher. It's not possible for them to be higher than 1500, but you're probably talking somewhere in the 1400s is the most, are most likely about the number that you'll have. So once you've done that, you then need to work out what your uh, MTU or your maximum transfer unit size is uh, to actually me, uh, to actually work out what's the best size for your particular connection. And it will depend on your computer, your a, uh, your internet provider and a whole bunch of other stuff and where you're going to. Google's pretty safe. Uh, I mean, you could also, uh, if your MMO server is pingable, it certainly wouldn't hurt to ping to there instead. So we're typing in ping, P-I-N-G, and then the domain name, and then we're going to go minus F, which means don't fragment this packet, so don't break it up to try and fit it through the pipe. Uh, and minus L, and then the size of the uh, packet that you want to send. So in this case, 
1472 is a pretty standard one that your computer might have. Let's so hit enter. So as you can see, it's saying the packet is sent, but it needs to be fragmented. It had to be fragmented to be able to set. Uh, sorry, would for it to go, it have to be fragmented. So what we do it is we do it again, basically, and we drop down. So we'll drop down by to 1300. Say, see, nope. On this particular computer, it needs to go even lower. Now I will say that this computer does need to go quite a bit lower than most computers do. Um, so you know, like. Lower again. What was it? <laughs> Twelve seventy-two. Oh, there you go. So really low. Oh, no. Twelve seventy-two. Oh, well, there you go. So sometime in the last little while, I actually need to set my MTU even lower. That's unusual. You should not go lower than five hundred. If you need to go lower than five hundred, you've got a problem and probably quite a serious one. Uh, anything lower than 500 will not work because the packet is not actually big enough to carry data. Ugh. Okay. This is working out to be a much better demonstration than I thought it would be. There we go. Okay, so now we just need to work out the point at which the data comes through uh, in an unfragmented packet and then that's what we'll go with. So you might need to, you know, you'll just need to you know, try a few things. Okay, nearly there. So I'm guessing, okay, there we go. So we might be talking 46 probably. Uh, you're probably talking, in, no, it's 45. Uh, it's probably going to be an even number as well. Yep, so 40, 1244 is the number for my computer. Um, there we go. Okay, so the next step, uh, you can just use the up arrow on your command prompt and it will just cycle through the commands that you typed previously, which can make things uh, much faster than usual. Okay, so uh, what you need to type now uh, is netsh interface ipv4 set sub interface and then the name of your interface in quotes, so ethernet in this case, and then we're going to say mtu equals I'm not going to say 1272, what we're going to say is 1244. And we're going to say store persistent, which means it'll keep, keep the number. And hit enter. And you can see it's responded with an OK, so that's worked. Uh, at this point you would need to reboot your computer uh, to make sure the settings go through correctly. Uh, and then when you come back on again, uh, it should hopefully give you a more reliable uh, internet connection, especially with streaming a lot of data. Now, you've, if your internet connection is fine and you have no problems, don't do this. Uh, because what this does is you probably it will, it's going to reduce your throughput. Not by much, just by a little bit. Um, but it's going to make that throughput more reliable. So you're only really going to do this if you've already got problems. Uh, and you know, it working rather than not at all is more important than losing a bit of throughput. So uh, that's about it. Uh, if you've got any questions, uh, ask in the comments. I will uh, put these commands in the comments as well. Uh, and I hope that's useful to you. Thanks for listening.